Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Selenium series with Ruby language. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about how to work with drop downs in Selenium web driver with language that is Ruby. So in today's session, you know, we'll be launching some particular website in which uh, we'll be performing some action on the drop down. So what action we're performing here? So I'll just show you the scenario. So we'll do a simple basic check if the drop down exists. If it exists, we'll iterate the values in the drop down, what all the values are there. And depending on the values, we'll select one value as per requirement. So let's say it's having 10 values and drop down or 15 values or so. So we'll select any value that is uh, uh, as per that is there as per our requirement. So I'll just show you how exactly it works. So I'll just open, let's say Facebook.com. So it's already open here. So I'll just close the Firebug. Okay, let's minimize. So let's say I am going to check for let's say month in this particular Facebook login page. So I'm, I'm going to iterate bit, uh, within this particular dropdown and I have to select a particular option in this dropdown. Let's say I'm going to select for June or July or August. It depends on entirely on myself what, or what all the requirement is. So let me open this firebug quickly. So I'll open it. So I'll just spy the dropdown. Okay, so this is fine. Okay, so the ID for the particular um, dropdown is month. So if we open this particular um, drop downs value or the tag name so it contains option as the drop down contains with the indexes or the values and the text there that is month jan feb and all so what we'll do is like we'll first write a code to launch this particular browser and navigate to this particular web page and then check for this drop down this month drop down if exist if exist we will display the entire list of the months over there once displayed we'll just check for uh, or we'll just select a particular month from there and then see if it works or not. So, okay, so we'll go back to our script. Let me close the entire stuff. Okay, so we have already a folder there. So let me create quickly one folder to start from scratch. So, okay, so I'll just name it as Selenium test. So it's created. Okay, so it's already there, I guess. So I'll just create a new one. Selenium test new. Okay, it's created. So let me create a Ruby file over here. I'll just name it as drop down test dot rb. It's created as well. So it's blank as of now. So we'll just copy the code from the previous uh, method or the previous file just to launch a particular browser just to save time and let's say I'm doing it only for Firefox as of now so nothing different it works for all the browsers so in this particular thing we are importing all the required files or required uh, binaries that is a Ruby gem and the Selenium web driver jars and then we are using Firefox browser over here and we are trying to launch the facebook.com let me clear the console it's done okay so from here onwards I'm going to check first if the drop down exists or not so let me spy that thing okay as we have already spied it so this is um, the particular uh, id for that that is month so as we all know how to use firepath so i'll just make it a bit correct i'm going to do it for select and i don't want to do it for all so okay so there is one node so i'll just use this thing that is xpath in my script and i'll first check whether this exists or not so i'll just write um, simple command that is let's say we have a driver handle driver dot find underscore element okay I'm using X path this is the X path that we have used let us write inside a particular if else method and let's I'm checking for displayed and once it is there I'll just give a print statement saying um, let's say month drop down is displayed once it is displayed so we want to iterate across all the particular uh, values in the dropdown. So I'll just save 
this thing or this particular element and let's say one more okay let me name it like this so it's done so it's saved there so now i'll just check for the list of uh, values that is coming under options so i'll just get all the elements from there with the tag name option okay so just i'll just write one more piece of code let's say all options i'll save it in all options and i'll put it as select dot find elements so now there are multiple elements over there and i'm using a tag name and with the value that is options so within this element i am going to check for all the elements that can contain within the element that is with the tag name option so i'll just write it down as option over here so now it is there so we can also check the count of this one so i can just check for options dot size and we can put it in the put loop put also you can write it like like the value the drop down is this one so it will take from there you can save it so we'll just quickly run it and see like whether um, we are writing it correct or not so whether you know the month drop down is exactly or is it displaying there or not if it is displayed are we able to iterate in the entire list of the drop down if it is there then what the size of it so just we'll check for that so i'm running it quickly so okay, you can see it's running let it load okay it's loading the firefox browser navigating to facebook.com and uh, i think it is done so let us go there and see okay so it says find element cannot find with tag name okay so let us check that okay so it says the problem is there with the find elements uh, tag name i guess okay so let me check okay so we have given it wrong way i guess so let us save and run it so again it is loading firefox browser navigating to facebook.com and let's see how it works oh, okay so it fails again okay so i think we have not given the syntax correctly okay just remove this as of now and I'll just save it okay i think it's also not correct so let us replace this as well and save it i think now it is totally correct so quickly we'll run it running again the same loop goes on it will launch a browser facebook.com and then it will see for the drop down yeah so this time it is working fine okay so i think there's some problem with my clips we will leave it so now we have the count of the entire values that is 12 months plus one extra value that is there for the month one so it is having 13 values over here so now, now I want to iterate in all the values. So I'll just write a loop over here. So I'll just put all options, the value that we have, dot each loop. And I'm just writing a set type symbol. I'm just writing, let's say, for options. So now I want to put it as. value is option dot it's attribute in ruby not get attribute value okay so this will return uh, the list of values over there so save it okay so we'll write we'll do one thing we'll just write one more condition over here which says like check if the value that is 
over here this one is let's say equal to equal to i want to select let's say june so equal to equal to it is june if it is jun yeah so jun if it is there i'll just click on option let's say i'm giving again a sleep of five seconds before that i'll just give a put statement saying value has been selected just save it and just we'll run and see if we have done it correctly or not so it's running so it's running yeah i guess it's failed somewhere let's check it okay so it is running but it has not checked anything okay so we are returning value over here so if you go back okay this is value so we have to re return for text sorry for that we'll just write it for text text and one more thing after doing this we have to break I'll just put a break statement here so what we are doing here is like you know we are checking for all the values in the drop down and if the value matches june we'll just click on that particular value we'll put a statement wait for five seconds and we'll break it and let's say after this we are going to close the browser as well since that is required so i'll just put quit and we'll save it so let's see let's run it again it's running facebook.com and it's still running yeah so you can see like see the june is selected in this particular drop down and we'll go back to eclipse yeah it's closed so it has waited for five seconds so you can see entire statement is given over here like what is the value of the month so it is displaying all the values from this particular uh, put statement so it's displayed here and it is selected june so we, it is printing this as well it is the value selected and it is quitting the browser in the last so we have seen how to work with dropdown in this particular uh, video uh, using Selenium and language that is Ruby. So please do like the but like this video, share it if you like if you feel it is worth sharing with the different peoples. Hit the like button, click on the bell icon to get notification on on the videos. So we are again posting a lot of videos going forward in the series. So the next video will cover a lot of different stuff in Selenium with the language Ruby again. So please follow us. Thank you. Bye bye. See ya.